What's up, everybody? Yeah, I know I haven't posted any martial arts videos in a while. I've been busy, but people online keep sending me messages and want me to post more martial arts videos. And one person just recently said, can you post them with a higher quality camera that you have now than what you used to use, which was an old little tiny video camera. Anyway, we're gonna talk about the, uh, the knife hand or the rich hand and how to use it. I know I've gone over this before, but it's always good to go over it again because it's such an effective move when you hit somebody in the freaking throat. Plus, in the past two years, for those of you who haven't watched in a while, I used to weigh like 240, and as you can see, I've lost like, uh, I lost a total of 50 pounds. I went from 240 to 190, and right now I stay around 195, and I'm trying to get a little bit leaner. I want to get down about 185, and I'm like, I'm six foot one, or at least I used to be, and I'm getting ready to turn 60. I turned 60 on September the 5th, which is in a few weeks. As far as, you know, if somebody's gonna attack you, or somebody's coming up on you, or somebody just walks up to me and they're right here, and they reach around and they're like, hey, what the fuck's going on? You know, and I'm not saying, I'm not, I don't mean in a friendly way, they're you know, getting ready to rob you, or kick your ass, or whatever. You know, so they're right up on you, and your arms are by your side because you got totally caught off guard. The easiest thing to do is like, you know, back off or run away. But he's he's got his arm around me. You know, he's holding on to me, and which limits my ability to, to move. I can only go in certain directions. I can go this way and try to run away, but he could come around the other side and cold cock me, and then it's all over. So from here, if I'm here and I'm scrunched up. And then this is what I found that works, because most of what you learn in a martial arts school is crap. It just does they just want to keep you there to charge you money and, and keep charging you money for as long as they can until you get tired of it. Or, or you've got your McBlack belt and you're done. But anyway, but from here he's got his arm around me and I'm like, hey man, what's going on? And I just throw a quick throat straight to the throat and it's over. You know, he's the first thing he's going to do, he's going to all, he's not going to be able to get any air into his lungs. Or if, if he does, it's going to be limited. So he's going to be struggling to breathe. He's going to be grabbing his throat and, you know, staggering around because he's, he's, now he's impaired. He can't function. He can barely breathe. It, the panic button's gone off in his brain and he doesn't know what to do. You can, at that point, he stopped attacking you. It's over. Run away. Don't keep kicking his ass because then you're going to end up in jail and in prison because the way it works, if somebody's attacking me and I hit him and the fight's over, he stops coming after me, you need to quit too. You need to walk away, get in your car, and go home because what's going to happen is you're going to end up in jail or prison for freaking assault, for a freaking assault to begin with. So just let it go. You know, that move, you're done. Boom, you're done. You know, or... If you don't feel comfortable from here, because it's tight, you can, while he's got his hand on your back, you can turn, you can lower your body, body level, turn, open your hand up, and hit him, it fits right around the trachea. It's perfect. So like I said, you just open your hand up, from here, you're just gonna turn. And it's over. Because that's what happens, especially if you're like, oh, you're in a bar, and, place is crowded, it's Saturday night, everybody's drunk and everybody's being stupid, you know, and you're in tight, he's grabbing you, starts pulling on you, threatening to kick your butt, you know, all you have to do is turn, drop that weight, and it's over. And plus you have control now, you've got control of his throat. You can push into the wall, you can say, whisper in his ear, hey, you know what, you keep going, I'm gonna fuck you up. And, let it, and then let it go. If he stops fighting, let it go. If he continues to fight, Squeeze harder, close the gap, grab his arm, get an underhook, you know, control him. You know, maybe he needs a shot, a knee in the balls to help slow him down to get the point across. But the whole point is you want to save your ass, go home safely, not get in an all-out brawl. Because he could have three, four, five, ten friends with him. All of a sudden, they're on you. It's bad. It's a bad situation. So again, if you're here, He's putting his arm around you, and it's not in a loving way. So basically, you're just gonna, you know, turn your head, take a quick look, so you see where you're hitting. Hit that throat. That's game over. Or if you don't feel comfortable and you're, he's in too tight, you want to turn, 
Turn that body weight and strike that throat with that open, that open hand grip, okay? So we're either hitting here or we're hitting there. And like I said, from here, you're, you do have more control, you know? You can reach around, hook his eye, pull him towards you, and get him down on the ground and say, hey, I don't want any more problems. You keep doing this, I'm gonna hurt you. Yeah, you already have hurt him, because as soon as you hit there, you turn, you turn your weight, hit to the throat, it's brutal, man. The throat is the one place that will stop any fight. And I know this because I've been in bar fights where I've grabbed the person by the throat and pinned them to the pool table and they could not continue to attack me. It was all over. They were struggling to breathe. Their hands were trying to pull my hand off. And when you're stiff arm like this, and, and the person I did it to was six feet tall, 300 pounds, and bench 450. I know him from the gym, I just didn't realize who it was when they attacked me from behind. They attacked me from behind, from here, and I, they were pulling me back. They were actually keeping me from kicking somebody else's ass. They were pulling me back, and I stepped, went down, came up, up under their throat, actually took them up off the ground, and slammed them on the pool table, and held them there. And I didn't even realize what all would happen. One of the bartenders who knew me told me he, he, he was like freaked out because at the time it was only about 185. It was like, I was 40. So it was like 20 years ago. He said, you actually picked him, and this is how adrenaline works. He said, you actually lifted him off the ground and slammed him to the pool table. And I realized at first I didn't catch myself, but I looked down after maybe five or 10 seconds and realized who it was and I let him go. And that's how effective grabbing somebody by the throat is. So if you have any questions, message me either through Instagram, my email that I provide, or through my YouTube channel. Until the next video.